Oh. Adults cheering at the screen during Marvel movies is one of the most cringeworthy, infantile and moronic trends to appear in recent times. Over the years I've seen countless videos of fan reactions to the latest assembly line products spat out by the Disney Marvel behemoth where the theatre is full of shouting and hollering halfwits. And from what I've heard, this is not an uncommon occurrence. These people make the movie theatre more closely resemble the audience at a British pantomime. You know, those things designed for small children where the audience is supposed to interact with the actors and yell things like, he's behind you, and oh no he didn't. <laughs> At least the children are actually cheering and interacting with people that can hear and respond to them. Marvel audiences are full of infantilized man babies in their 20s and 30s yelling at a fucking recording projected against a blank wall. But layman you might be asking, why are you bringing this up now? As you've said yourself, this trend has existed for years. Well, I recently had the displeasure of seeing the disjointed and inconsistent mess that is Thor Love and Thunder. And while I was watching it, a group took it upon themselves to cheer on two separate occasions during the movie. Now, to your average American, this might seem like a quiet, tranquil and downright benign Marvel movie audience. However, this trend did not travel to Ireland. I saw Endgame on release day in a packed out theatre and not one person cheered and yelled like an ADHD riddled nine year old because they knew they were in a movie theatre, not a goddamn football stadium. That's not to say it was silent. People laughed at jokes, cried at deaths, gasped when shocked, but they always had the common decency and plain old good manners to respect the other people around them and not yell during a movie. But look, I've had annoying people in the cinema before, such as your talkers. Oh man, don't go in there. Do not go into a crane shot right now. You kidding me? Package rustlers. <laughs> Obnoxious laughers. We'll stay here for a while, bro. Ah! And worst of all, the phone on full brightness texting during 90% of the film. And none of it ever prompted me to make a video decrying them. And the reason for this is that all of these things are already frowned upon. If you're on your phone or talking throughout a movie, you'll be kicked out, and rightly so. But, for some reason, a bunch of infantilized millennials cheering like it's the second coming of Christ every time caped hero person number 467 does anything is somehow a-okay. So, I'll be damned if I let this trend become normalized and infect Irish cinemas just like it's infected the cinemas in the good old USA. So I think it's time we retire the old, outdated stereotype of the black family yelling at the movie screen and replace it with a new one. The 20 something millennial man venting all his underdeveloped emotions out at a mediocre product made by a global super corporation. <laughs> While this is annoying, there is one more reason, however, why this trend annoys me so much. I've become very bored with the stale Marvel formula, and I know I'm not alone in this feeling. Box office receipts from some of their biggest movies and ratings of their new shows undeniably proves that their audience is shrinking. So how does this relate to a bunch of people cheering in a movie theatre? Well, the cheering is a representation of why the standard of movies has dropped so far and why it won't improve. The cheering in theatres isn't done because something brilliant happened or a story was perfectly told or a character arc perfectly crafted. Half the time it's just because they see a familiar face or something they remember. I mean, look at this crowd in raptures just because the freaking Marvel logo appeared on screen. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Here they lose it for no reason other than Captain America appears on screen. For fuck's sake, here they are literally ecstatic because they see a CGI image of an imaginary place that they like. <laughs> it's like that scene in Spongebob Squarepants where the crowd goes nuts for him doing absolutely nothing other than existing. Life imitating art so beautifully. 
So this cheering, gushing reaction and willingness to pay for a movie ticket or invest 10 hours of your life into some mediocre crap is why the standard has slipped so far. When the character's mere existence and a run-of-the-mill story is enough to make a billion dollars, then why would the studio take any risks or try something new and daring? I saw Iron Man in cinemas way back in 2008, and I loved it, and that's what got me invested in Marvel and the MCU. But let's be honest, Iron Man was a third-rate Marvel hero with very little excitement around him prior to that film. The same can be said for Thor. And Captain America was second rate at best in the average moviegoer's eyes. But through excellent storytelling, inspired casting and unprecedented world building, they built the MCU into something never seen before in movie history. And look, love or hate the MCU for the effect it's had on overall cinema, it was an exceptionally ambitious and bold project with no guarantee of success when it first started. Now, tell me this. Would the quality of those films be the same if people were going into theatres in their droves 15 years ago, just cheering and freaking out at the mere sight of a bloody comic book character? Of course not! The reason people began to cheer for these characters was because it was actually earned through the quality of the movies that caused people to fall in love with these characters and their interlock stories. I mean, who outside of the biggest comic book nerds were cheering at the sight of the Guardians of the Galaxy 10 years ago? Nobody! But just look at this reaction in 2019. Yeah! And this is why the cheering and blind allegiance to the brand has got to stop. The creators of these films and TV shows are fully aware that if you slap a Marvel logo on a familiar face on any old shit, then you're going to get a horde of loyal cultists to not only spend their time and money to see it, but fucking freak out with excitement for it with a borderline religious fervour. Ironically, this is what has caused the decline in quality we are all seeing because audiences are not demanding the quality storytelling, character arcs, plot development and world building that made them fans in the first place. So studios aren't bothering with the effort to create it. They just slap a logo on it, throw in a character with some name recognition, and sprinkle in some CGI and call it a day. So keep on cheering for mediocrity if you want. But be aware that if you do, you're guaranteeing you'll have nothing to cheer for in future.